Hello, thank you for joining. Today we are going to be checking outline agreements. And first, we are going to check the stock situation of material X at plan 1000 by going to MD04 transaction. And here we can check that there is no stock and no further in inbound or outbound uh, movements. So no demand or no supply elements are registered in the future in the planning horizon so the first thing we are going to check is we are going to create demand for this product by adding a safety stock so we go to mm02 material master change select material x and we go to mrp2 view Continue, we enter the plant, continue, and at safety stock, we enter any safety stock that we want to keep in the system, and now we can save it. If we go back to MD04, and we check the situation for the same material at the same plant, we can check that now there is a, a demand for 100 pieces. And we have also an exception message that indicates 96, which is a stock falling below safety stock level. So now we have safety stock requirement and there is no stock. So the system, when we run the MRP, the system will generate will generate a supplied element, a supply MRP element that balance this requirement. So we can go to MD02, enter the material, MRP the plant, MRP area plant, net only uh, the, the the materials with changes we need we want to create purchase requisitions and basic dates since this product is not manufactured in the company so when we run the mrp by clicking on enter then enter again and if we go back to the stock requirement list when we refresh there is a balance element with and it is a purchase requisition so the system will generate either plan orders or purchase requisitions every time that we have a demand for items that that, that are procured externally but if we want to save time, it means that we do not have to generate purchase order every time a requirement appears. This is zero one, this is zero two, because this is consuming time and it is uh, using resources to generate purchase order, release, generate, release, send. We can create a master document that convert this purchase order in delivery schedule lines. So how do we do that in the system? We can go back to, to SAP system and we can create a scheduling agreement. We can do that We can do that by going to logistics, materials management, purchasing, online agreement. Here we are creating we can create contracts or scheduling agreement. This time we are going to go for a scheduling agreement and create emit 
Cherry 1L to create a scheduling agreement. And here, basically, we are using this function so that the vendor sends us material with the same document. And we do not have to send many purchase order, only update the schedule lines. So this will help us to to save time in general in creating purchase orders, sending them and monitoring them. And also it's going to save time for the vendor. So here we can reduce waste. So I am going to enter a vendor, a vendor that is going to help us with this example is going to be agency 00 and the agreement type we have two types basically when we are doing scheduling agreement we have without document required and with document required first we are going to check without document required so we choose op now we enter our purchasing organization 1000 and per se purchasing group triple zero and we click on continue this will bring a pop-up and we can enter a, a validity and it could be one year we can make an, an agreement with the vendor that for a year he will be supplying materials under this agreement so i am going to enter one year of validity this is the validity start so the validity end is going to be zero c zero seven 05 2021 and now I can click on continue I can enter the material the material that we are going to be working on is material X so I enter material X target quantity we can here enter more or less the average demand for a year let's say it is 1000 the order you need is I think this it's PC let me check it is PC so we enter the unit as PC, the net price, we can arrange a better price since we are doing an arrangement with the vendor. This, so I am going to say $20. And then click on continue. We can save this agreement. The agreement is safe. Now we can create, once we have done this uh, agreement, we can go back and create a scheduling agreement manually by going to Delivery schedule, ME38, ME38, maintain. Here we paste our agreement. The system will remember it. Will remember it. And then we click on enter. Information is being loaded for the agreement. Here we have agreement for item 10 material x and target quantity is 1000 and the pc unit of measure so we can select this one and go to delivery schedule and we can enter here uh, an a specific schedule that we want that the vendor delivers a product and we can do it in different time buckets so we have the format quick format month 
format. So we go for day format. And the library date, we are going to make a test for today is um, Tuesday 7th, 7th um, 2020 of May. So we are going to make the delivery for the next week. And we are requiring a quantity for 100. We can also specify at what time here when we are working with, with just in time. And this is in conjunction with lean manufacturing. But we are going to leave it just like this. And when we click on enter, we can check here the creation indicator is R. And R stand, stands for real time. That it means that this schedule line was created manually. We we can also make it automatically, and that the MRP generates this schedule line automatically. We are going to check that also. So I am going to save this one. And it it is just mentioning that there there is no output message for this one font. I am going to save it anyway. And the scheduling agreement can be checked in the MRP. So if we go back to the MRP and we refresh, we can check here the schedule line that we created. But here, there is a star indicating that it was created manually. I am going to erase this one and this one so that only the demand exists and we are going to check how to generate the uh, uh, schedule line automatically. So I'm going to erase this one and this one. First I click on this one then I go to change element and here I'm going to en enter zero and save this one. Yes. I refresh now it is gone and I am going to delete also this one go into the change mode select select the bin yes yes save and refresh now there is only the demand if I create again if I run again the MRP in MD02 and I click on continue, 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 and close, close, and I refresh, I can see that the system generates purchase requisitions. So we are going to do the settings so that the system creates scheduling agreements automatically. So I am going to delete also this one. Select, delete, save, save, refresh. To make the scheduling agreements automatically, we can go to logistics, materials management, purchasing, master data, source list. Maintain. Mat enter the material and enter the plant. Here we enter a valid from and valid to. We can define the period um, that a specific vendor is valid. So we are going to enter today's date 07, 05, 2020, and the next year, the f that is 07. 07, 05, 2021. So one year is the validity period and the vendor is agency 00. Now we enter the purchasing organization 1000. Yes, 
unit of order is PC and the agreement, we can paste or the purchase agreement that we just generated. And the item is the item we want. The system finds it. And here, we need to select in materials planning, record relevant to MRP schedule line agree generated automatically. So we select this indicator as two, and we can save the source list. That is the first step. So I can exit, exit, and the second step is we open a new session to run the MRP. I am the MD02 to run the MRP for material X, MR MRP area 1000, plan 1000, and net create purchase requisition. Yes, or we can select plan orders. And here we need to select three. Schedule land in the opening period, uh, a schedule line. Or the other one also, if, if we have a planning period. And create a MRP list, planning mode one, and scheduling basic dates since this product is not uh, produced in, in house. So I can run the MRP now, check the input parameters. Okay. Okay, go back, go back, and now when I refresh, the schedule line was generated automatically. And if I go to check ME30, ME38 and enter the agreement, We are uh, in the maintain schedule agreement schedule. I click again in the delivery schedule. Here we can check that now the creation indicator is B material requirement planning. So this will be sent to the vendor with the same document number. We can create more demand for this material in the in MD61 transaction. MD61 continue. Enter the material and the plant. And we are going to create more demand for the for June, July, and that's it. And I can save the demand. Close. And now if I refresh, I can check that there is more demand. And if I run the MRP, more schedule line are going to be generated under the same document. So this will help us to avoid creating purchase over purchase order and purchase requisition every time. This will help us to save time in execution. So let's run the MRP again. MD02 X 1000 1000 schedule light. Run. Run. Close. Close. And refresh. Here we have the same schedule light. Here we, here we have the schedule line generated automatically under the same document number. So this is going to help us to avoid wasting time creating every time purchase orders. This is very useful in car industry. So that will be everything for today. Thanks a lot for watching this video and see you in the next one.